This is Sebastian Tomek with an Ancient DNA paper review. Natural selection is the differential survival and reproduction of individuals due to genetic differences. The change in the heritable traits, characteristics of a population over generation, is the key mechanism of evolution. Do we see this in anatomically modern humans? The paper, Genome-Wide Patterns of Selection in 230 Ancient Eurasians in Nature, looks into this by studying 230 West Eurasians who lived between 6500 and 300 BC. They detect selection at loci associated with diet, pigmentation and immunity and two independent episodes of selection on height. The strongest signal of selection is at the SNP responsible for lactase persistence in Europe, LCT in the graph. The oldest occurrence is an individual from the bellbreaker culture, more than 2000 BC. Two other independent signals related to diet are located at chromosome 11, near FADS1 and DHCR7. FADS1 and 2 are involved in fatty acid metabolism and variation at this locus is associated with plasma lipid and fatty acid concentration. The second strongest signal in the analysis is in the SLC45A2 which contributes to light skin pigmentation and is almost fixed in present day Europeans but occurred at much lower frequency in ancient populations. In contrast, the derived allele at SLC2485, that is the ma other major determinant of light pigmentation in modern Europe, appears fixed in the Anatolian Neolithic farmers. This suggests that its rapid increase in frequency in early Neolithic Europe was mostly due to migration. Another pigmentation signal is at GRM5. They also find evidence of selection for a derived allele at HERC2 OCA2, which is at 100% frequency in the European hunter-gatherers they analyze and is the primary determinant of blue eye color in present-day Europeans. A known target of selection in Europe is at the TLR1610 gene cluster that possibly relates to resistance to leprosy, tuberculosis and other myobacteria. This is only to mention some of the genetic changes that has been selected for in the last 6,000 years or so. They also tested for selection on complex traits. The best documented example of this process is in, in humans is height, for which the difference between Northern and Southern Europe has been driven by selection. To test for this signal in their data, they used statistics that test whether trait-affecting alleles are both highly correlated and more differentiated compared to randomly selected alleles. They predicted genetic heights for each population and applied the test to all populations together, as well as a pair of populations. The results suggest that the modern south-north gradient in height across Europe is due to both increased step ancestry in northern populations and the selection for decreased height in early Neolithic migrant to southern Europe. The paper notes that for most of the signals, allele frequencies of modern Europeans are outside the range of any ancient population, indicating that phenotypically, Europeans of 4000 years ago were different in important respects from Europeans of today despite having overall similar ancestry. I find this really interesting and I'm looking forward to more papers on this topic. Till next time, I wish you all the best.